Has there ever been a time in your life when you felt like God had abandoned you and that he no longer cared about you? You are not the only one who has experienced this feeling. As believers, sometimes, there will be seasons in our lives where we will have our doubts and fears, feel vulnerable, and feel overlooked before God. Just as the Bible has acknowledged that there will be both good times and trying times in life, there will also be seasons when our trust in God is 100%, and there will be times when we struggle to trust Him over the smallest things. The truth is, when we face these tough seasons and feel vulnerable, overlooked, and underestimated, it could be that we are the ones responsible for these thoughts. We may doubt our place as God's children and feel like He no longer cares, but that is not true. Irrespective of what we are going through in our lives, God will never stop loving His children or stop caring about us. If you have ever heard similar thoughts in your head, please know that they could be thoughts of self-doubt and insecurity lingering in your mind. My brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that no matter what happens in your life, you will always see, feel, and experience the goodness of God in the end. Let us explore the book of Psalm, chapter 27. In verses 1 through 3 it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. These verses do not only talk about confidence in God's salvation and strength, it also emphasize the confidence that comes from trusting in the Lord. David portrayed God as his light, salvation, and stronghold, which eradicated fear and instilled courage. Even in the face of enemies and adversaries, David's faith in God's protection remained unshaken. Brethren, this is to tell you that no matter what you may be facing, you should always hold steadfast to God, because at the end of whatever you may be facing, God will see you through, just as He came through for our patriarchs. Do not be afraid of any challenge or become weary when things do not go as planned. Remember that the Lord is your stronghold in all situations, and you have no reason to be afraid. Now we will explore the profound impact of waiting on God to see His goodness in your life. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a reverent and inspiring prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. My dear friends, sometimes the situations of life can be very challenging and may cause our faith in God to waver. But what if I told you that sometimes challenging situations help us grow more faith in God? Would you believe me? That is the truth. Looking around your life, you will realize that the last time you needed God's help on something, and He did it, your faith in Him grew. You see, brethren, our faith is like a little plant and whether you admit it or not, sometimes a difficult situation is what helps us grow. It waters our faith, pushes our roots deeper into God, and allows us to trust Him more. Let us take a look at Psalm 27 verses 4 through 6. It states, One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in His temple. For He will hide me in His shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of His tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. And I will offer in His tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. 
I will sing and make melody to the Lord. These verses talk about longing for God's presence and assurance of His protection. David expresses a deep yearning to dwell in the house of the Lord, to experience His presence continually, and to behold His beauty. This desire signifies a pursuit of a close and intimate relationship with God. David also trusts that in times of trouble, God will shelter and exalt him, leading to victorious worship and celebration. Most people believe that when we are experiencing tough times, God does not see us or completely forgets about us. That is not true. God is always watching over us and seeing us. He sees our hearts, and He even knows us more than we know Him. These verses assure us that God is always with us. If we are in trouble, we can run to Him for refuge. He will also protect us at all times and guide us on the right path. It teaches us that despite the challenges we may be facing, we can fully rely on God and He will certainly conceal us under the cover of His tent. Psalm 27 verse 5 specifically tells us that the in time of trouble, God will lift us high upon a rock. My dear brothers and sisters, this should tell you that you can fully depend on God and trust Him to deliver you out of the toughest challenges and tribulations. Are you feeling lost and you need God's guidance and direction? then do not hesitate to go to Him. Psalm 27, verses 10 through 12 says, For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. Here, David talks about his confidence and assurance in God's guidance. He believed that God would teach him his way and lead him on the level path, just as he did in the past. If you reflect on your past, you will admit that there was a time when you felt very lost and needed God's guidance, and he led you on the right path. What about situations you thought would overwhelm you? Did God not help you? Of course He did. If God could do this for you before, then you should trust in Him to do it again. In the Bible, Moses was the perfect example of someone who asked for God's guidance. And the Lord guided Moses, even though he faced a lot of challenges during his journey. In Psalm 27 verses 7 through 9 explains, Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, Seek my face. My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger, O you who have been my help. Cast me not off. Forsake me not, O God of my salvation. These verses specifically talk about continually seeking God's mercy and His presence. These verses transition into a heartfelt plea for God's mercy and assistance. Here, David seeks an attentive response from God, emphasizing his need for divine help and not wanting to be forsaken. My dear friends, for you to see and experience the goodness of God, you must be willing to seek the face of God. You must be willing to spend time and fellowship with Him and have a deep connection with Him. When you constantly spend time in God's presence, you will be surprised to see how spending more time with God can and will transform your life. Not only will you get transformed when you continually seek God, but your true potential will also be revealed. While seeking the face of God, it is also important that you wait on Him. Sometimes, we may want something from God or want Him to do something for us. But if we do not wait on Him, we may not receive all of His benefits. In Psalm 27, verse 13 through 14, God's Word states, I believe 
that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. One thing most believers do not know is that when you wait on God, you are actively preparing and exercising your faith in God. There is no one who had waited on God, and God did not hear their prayers at the end of the day. Also, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. This tells us that when we wait on the Lord, aside from getting answers to our prayers, we will also enjoy other benefits as believers. And one of those benefits is experiencing His goodness. So as believers, in whatever you do, ensure that you constantly seek the face of God, connect deeply with Him, and in the end, you will see His goodness. His goodness is always readily available to those who seek Him and wait on Him. Beloved, we have already established that when you seek God's face and patiently wait on Him, you will see and experience His goodness. If you truly want to enjoy all-round blessings and live a life where you are constantly basking in and enjoying God's goodness, then you need to adopt the lifestyle of continually waiting on God, seeking His face, and building a deeper relationship with Him. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray to our magnificent and hallowed Father. Dearest Heavenly Father, King of the universe, I come before you today with a heart filled with gratitude and trust. I acknowledge you as my light and my salvation, the stronghold of my life. I find comfort in the words of Psalm 27, knowing that no matter what challenges I face, your goodness prevails. Lord, I am often surrounded by fears and uncertainties. Yet, your word reassures me that even if an army besieges me, my heart need not fear. I ask for the strength to hold on to this truth. Help me to replace my fears with unwavering confidence in your protection and care. Father, as I seek your presence, I remember the words of David. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. May this be my heart's desire, to dwell in Your presence continually. Teach me to prioritize my relationship with You above all else, to seek Your face diligently, and to find joy and peace in Your presence. I am reminded that in times of trouble, you keep me safe in your dwelling. You hide me in the shelter of your sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Lord, I pray for this divine protection over my life. Cover me with your wings and let me find refuge in you. When the storms of life rage, be my safe harbor. Father God, you call me to wait for you, to be strong and take heart. Waiting is often difficult, especially when I am eager for solutions and breakthroughs. Yet I choose to trust your timing, knowing that you are never late. I believe that as I wait on you, you are working all things together for my good. Grant me the patience and faith to endure, knowing that your plans for me are perfect and filled with hope. Gracious Lord, I come before you with a humbled heart, seeking your divine presence in my life. Inspired by Psalm 27, I am reminded of the importance of dwelling in your presence and seeking your face continually. Lord, I acknowledge that in your presence there is fullness of joy and peace 
that surpasses all understanding. Help me to prioritize my time with you above all else. Draw me closer to you, that I may experience the depth of your love and the beauty of your holiness. Let my heart continually cry out, Your face, Lord, will I seek. Father, I seek your wisdom in my daily life. Your word says that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask of you, and you will give it generously. I ask for your divine wisdom to guide my decisions, to lead me on the right paths, and to help me navigate the complexities of life. Grant me an understanding, heart and mind, that are attuned to your will. Help me to discern your voice amidst the noise of the world. I also pray for your blessings, Lord. You are a God who delights in blessing your children. I ask for your favor to rest upon me in all my endeavors. Bless the work of my hands, my family, my relationships, and my community. Let your blessings overflow in my life, so that I may be a blessing to others. May your provision be abundant, meeting all my needs according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Lord, I ask for your protection. In Psalm 27, you promise to keep me safe in your dwelling, to hide me in the shelter of your sacred tent, and to set me high upon a rock. I claim this promise over my life today. Protect me from harm, danger, and evil. Shield me from the arrows that fly by day and the terrors that stalk by night. Cover me with your wings and let me find refuge in your faithfulness. Surround me with your angels and let no weapon formed against me prosper. I thank you for the assurance that I will see your goodness in the land of the living. Even when challenges come my way, help me to remain steadfast in my faith, knowing that you are always with me. Your goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life, and I trust that you are working all things for my good. Most High God, I come before you with a heart filled with anticipation and trust, reflecting on the promises found in Psalm 27. I am reminded to wait for you, to be strong, and to take heart. Waiting can be challenging, Lord but I trust in your perfect timing and your unwavering faithfulness. Loving Father, I ask for the grace to wait patiently for your plans to unfold in my life. Help me to remain steadfast and unshaken even when I do not see immediate results. Strengthen my heart and give me the endurance to persevere through trials and uncertainties. I know that those who wait upon you will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I also seek your wisdom, Lord. As I wait, grant me the discernment to understand your will. Fill my mind with your knowledge and my heart with your understanding. Teach me to make wise decisions that align with your purposes for my life. May I always seek your counsel and trust in your guidance. Bless me, Lord, with the assurance of your presence. As I seek you, may I experience your goodness and faithfulness. Bless my family, my relationships, my work, and my community. Let your favor rest upon me, and may your blessings overflow in my life. Use me as an instrument of your love and grace, bringing hope and encouragement to those around me. I also ask for your protection, Lord. Keep me safe from harm and danger. Surround me with your angels and let your divine shield cover me. Protect me from the schemes of the enemy and from all forms of evil. Guard my heart and mind, and let your peace that surpasses all understanding reign in my life. Loving Father, I come before you today, inspired by the words of Psalm 27. I am reminded of your unfailing love and goodness, even in the midst of trials. I declare that you are my light and my salvation, my refuge and strength. 
Holy Lord, I face many challenges and difficulties in this life. Yet I choose to trust in your goodness. I believe that you are working all things together for my good, even when I do not understand your ways. Help me to see your hand at work in my life, guiding me, protecting me, and providing for me. I ask for your wisdom, Lord, to navigate through the storms I encounter. Grant me the insight to make decisions that honor you. Fill me with your understanding and help me to walk in your truth. May I always seek your guidance and rely on your wisdom in every situation. I pray for your blessings, Father. Pour out your favor upon me and bless me abundantly. Let your blessings overflow in my life, touching every area and aspect. Bless my family, my career, my relationships, and my community. May your provision be evident in my life, and may I always be grateful for your goodness. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our holy family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.